Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hi. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hi. All right, man. You ready to do this, bro? We got a good day ahead of us today. People are talking about crashes and mashes and all this other cool stuff. Not the mashes. Nope, we got a little bit of the mashing going on. If you're here, say hello, guys. Welcome, welcome. If you're joining us live, comment live below. If you're if you're watching the replay, comment or team replay. All right, man. all right, all right. What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Robert Vermetti, what's up, man? How are you, Travis? Welcome, guys. What's up? Hey, boys, I see knows you're here already. Val Aldred, what's up, man? Thanks for saying hello. Guys, we got a lot to talk about. My name is Vlad, if you're new here. Uh, <clears throat> I'm the why guy, but I'm going to give you the why behind what we do with stocks, how we do it, and especially when we're looking at a market with the way it is now, right now, one of the biggest drops. Did you see that red line? Woo! I don't know. I, I, that might be a glitch, no lie. Um, might be a glitch, might be not, but we're going to talk about what we got to do to make this market work for us. Because it's all about being logical. That's all it is. It's all about logic. Uh, Vincent Karachi, what's up, man? How are you? And Wayne Norris, Jeff, how are, how's it been, man? Yeah. All right, guys. So let's take a look at what's going on. Let's see what we could do. Because, again, everybody's upset about the news. Everybody's kind of freaking out. We talked about this. And um, I'll be honest with you. I actually went in the market today myself <laughs> and uh, literally made some money real fast just because of what's going on. So let's check it out. I want to say hello to Bob Benish and Bob Benish both. Uh, one is with us today. The other one's a little late. That's okay. <laughs> but um, guys, so what are we seeing here? Well, <clears throat> this looks like something to panic about. However, I saw Brian Norris comment saying, well, the market's not crashing. You are correct, sir. I don't want to say anything yet, but we are in a good, good, good position, guys. This is, I know, I've been talking about confirmation. I've told you that I have a feeling this is going to be a huge week, guys, huge week, all right? And I think it's still going to be a huge week. In fact, if you got in at 365 today, you'd be in good shape. Nah. All right, but here's the thing. Um, I'm holding to my horses because I see a reversal. So let's take a look from the macro view, from the micro view, and let's all welcome Lori back. Welcome back, Lori. Hope everything's great. Missed you. Um, what is really going on here? <clears throat> so it looks like it's a big drop, which it was. But if you're looking at a macro view, and I sent the video out yesterday to all of you, because a lot of people were asking me, <clears throat> and I want to make sure I provide value to you. So here's the deal here. If you go back to about, let's just say, 10 months on a daily chart, what do I see here? Oh, I am seeing beauty because what was happening, and this is how I look at the market. We first, and I'm just going to review with you what we did around our past lives. I was looking at this point right here, and when it broke through these lines, all of these lines, I was looking still to get around here. Once it broke here, I already announced to you guys, if it goes past 455, our next point is 440, which is where it hit. And yesterday, it even went down. So this, why is this down happening? Because there are news. There's instigating news. But I'm going to show you a little trick, guys. Here's the thing about news. News is short term. Okay, and here's what I learned about news. It will bring the stock down. OK, but it won't keep it down for long. And if you see, even yesterday, it went below this 200 day moving average and it kind of kept it going. Unless the news is really, really serious, serious, like COVID or something like that. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time. This move, though, this whole move right here was expected. It, it, it needed to get to 200 day moving average at some point where we're at now. Totally different situation, man. Totally different situation. It went below which is a concern because once it goes below the 200 day moving average, it becomes a, it becomes a bearish stock. However, look at this, look at this guys, look at this point, mm -hmm. look how perfectly it hit this support line. And now we're, we're seeing a couple things that are looking real good. We are seeing signs of a reversal. What's up, Mark? What's up? Owen, Owen Jones, Lydia, Calvin, Alex, all you guys, BJ Doyne, De Deontay Mitchell, Elliot, what's up, bro? <laughs> Vincent, everybody, what's up, man? Uh, bought some 365 Spy. Guys, you buying 365 Spy is awesome. That's, that's going to make you some money for sure. Here's the deal, man. At the end of the day, this is, 
we are seeing a hammer candle, okay, with insane volume, okay? So if you go down here, this is insane volume. This, to me, is one of the biggest key mm -hmm. factors here. Today, more stimulating news, more things that are affected. And what did it do? It says, oh, bad news, bad news, bad news. Yeah, it's just bad news, man. Let, let me go back to where I'm supposed to be. And we're beginning to see a turn. For something to go all the way down to 365, and then come right back up, lets us know this is a strong holding move, strong. And the volume's up, we're seeing a reversal here. We're still in the momentum's down because of that strong move. But the reality is we got something good here, guys. We got something really, really good happening. Please, 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 if you're here now, okay, let me stop this for a second here so I could explain this to you. If you're here now, that you're, this is your opportunity. You don't get these opportunities that often. Last time we had this was COVID, okay? We're gonna see some amazing moves. It's time to go for a ride. Our next few lives are gonna be insane, okay? Now, do I, am I a psychic? No, but it's all about logic. It's all about the confirmations we are getting. All right, so guys, it's very important. We're looking at this right now and saying, hey, guess what? We are at a resistance point, a uh, support point right now. Time to start investing. Do I want to invest now? No. Here's the key factor, guys. Here is the big key factor. You should be asking me, all right, Vlad, I get it. I get it. But when? When do we get into this? Give me some specific. You're being very vague. You're right. We need to see this go back to the 200-day moving average. So if you want a day trade, like today I did a few trades. It was crazy. Like, click, $500, $700. Oh, we'll get out. I don't do that that often. But in these markets, why not? There's a lot of volatility. As long as you're strategic, we got things going on. Here's what we have to worry about. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so we could see what's really going on. And guys, if you're new here, definitely you want to check out my webinar. We have a great webinar. It's going to give you my six simple steps I use to make money. Comment webinar below. Comment webinar below and we will send it to you. I will DM it to you. I can't put a link in, inside here. Facebook don't like that. So let me do a, let me do a quick like four month chart here. And I want to show you this. This is where we have to be very, very careful. When I'm looking here, you could see the stock went down, beginning to turn. What's up, Baja? And over here, now this 200 day moving average has become a resistance. Don't be surprised if we see a little bit of an up, a little bit of a down before we get this going. So that could happen. But the fact that we have all this volume, it's only a matter of time. Here's another example where it wasn't so crazy, but you could see here, we had a strong volume, nice candle bouncing off the average. And what happens? It's just a matter of time that it, so we see that big move. And it always happens after these strong downturns. Again, strong downturns leads to what? Upswing, strong downturns. That's why every time we get on these lives, one of the things I always say is, hey, guess what, guys? We need to make sure that we get this going quick because once everybody's hesitating, once everybody's upset, the world's coming to an end, that's when we jump in. You know, so it's very, very important you understand that. Here's what I'm telling you right now. I would not jump in in anything big until I see this go to 445. And, we, and we're going to be staying here. I'm going to tell you right now, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Join us at 2 p.m. Eastern. I am going to call out plays. And if you want me to go over any stocks with you today, please let me know. Just comment the stock symbols below. What's up, Alwyn? John Jarrett, what's up, bro? Bill Le Leclerc. Ooh, Leclerc, what's up? Leclerc. All right, we'll check some of these stocks out. So, yeah, if you have any questions about this market, guys, this is where it's time to ask. I'm only going to now, to give you even a better perspective, how small this move really is. Let me tell you. Because we could look at it and say, oh, look at this yellow line. Listen, for something to jump that right back up like that um, usually means there was some huge announcement and things just come back. So I don't even count it. But this move is a big move. But is it? So here's the thing. When we're looking at things like this, this is what people don't want you to do and what the professionals mm -hmm. do. Um, and that's going back. Let's go back three years on a weekly chart, guys. Look at this. We, again... This is just showing us exactly where we need to be. This stock hit the 50-day moving average, and the news tried to bring it down. No, no, no. We're going to go on a weekly 
So if it goes all the way down here, obviously that's a big, big hit, man. Big hit. Could happen. However, what did it say? No, 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 no. We are not doing that. We have hit our spot at 50-day moving day average. As of right now, we want to reverse here. So if we're seeing this reversal, and if you see, that's kind of normal. We haven't seen it in a while since COVID, right? But it was a matter of time till we see a bit of a drop to the 50-day moving average. If you look in the past, you could see it's normal for it to drop to these areas once in a while because that's where the big gains happen every single time. Again, you could see it'll go up, but when it hits these lines, these moving day average, it's kind of its identity. It goes up, hits this line, goes up. These are big moves. But when it hits this low, we got something serious, serious happen. Just think about it. How does a stock go from 365 all the way to 440? You could say it's a glitch, of course, but <laughs> I don't think these things are pretty accurate. It's because it's not supposed to be there. It was, it's a lot of manipulation and we're going to fix it. If you, so if you get the breakdown, if you understand this breakdown, give me a, a, a thumbs up like this so I could see if you, if you like the breakdown, give me some thumbs up or heart so I could see, get some feedback. When in doubt, zoom out. Ooh, I like that. I'm sorry, Jeff. I apologize, but I'm, I'm going to be a thief of your idea. I might steal that line from you. Can I have that line? Not line. Like, you know, <laughs> that's a good one, man. When in doubt, zoom out. I love that. All right. So we had a few people who like it. Okay. Not a lot. Okay. Now we're getting some, if you like the explanation or if you have any questions, please comment below. Anything you want to ask, there are no dumb questions. Selena Seeper said, what's up, Jose, man? What's up, brother? April, how are you? April with the fast fingers. I stole from internet. Okay. Well, okay, great. So I could steal. Perfect. When in doubt, <laughs> zoom out. All so right. I could steal too. When in doubt, steal it out. All right, cool. Moise Ba, what's up, man? How are you? All right, cool. Um, all right, so let's check out what we have going on. Does technical analysis work the same on UVXY? It's like the bigs. Oh, um, yeah. So let's get into the stocks. We'll go, we'll talk about that in one second. I just want to see if there's anybody have any questions. You got all the webinar people. Yeah, we got all the webinar people going. So we are good to go. Now let's go check out the charts right now. Give me one second here. All right, um, so here we go. So uh, the first one we have here is CHP, no, I'm sorry, Ford, Ford. So when we're looking at Ford here, Ford to me is looking really nice. I've been talking to you about the stock. I thought it was very stretched, very stretched. Now we're seeing it kind of hit this line and it's beginning to reverse. Um, do I think it's ready to just totally kill it? I don't think that's the case yet. We need a little bit more confirmation. So uh, what I've noticed with the stock is it likes to do a lot of consolidating before it actually pops up. So we might see it continue to going in this channel. So to me, I would like to see the break around this, this line right here for me to see anything going. So about $22 would be the line. If I really wanna see it really go 24, 25 possibly, but I think 22 is a good entry point to see a reversal to the top. Awesome, man. Thanks. No problem. Mo Moise Ba. Do I know you? you said, your name sounds familiar. What connection are I think I know him, Moise back in the day. Um, he was Turkish. Hmm. All right. Where to next? Uh, Qu QS. Quantum Scape, I think. QS. All right. Cool. Uh, QS is looking like it's a, <laughs> everybody asks me about it. Is this like a meme stock or something? No, it was popular. Though. It, it was, was very popular. popular. Yeah. I kept saying, guys, I'm not a fan of this stock. Uh, it's way below its averages. It's been going through this bearish stage, and overall, it's just continuing to come down. It's and I mean, I don't, I still don't like it. I think it has a long way to go. I wouldn't trade this at all until um, we get to around the 28, 29 mark. Then I could see a nice reversal, and then that's going to give us that great spot where it's starting to go into the upper channel with some good volume. But at, for now, not a not a fan of something like this. I am I, I apologetic on this. So what's up, Caleb? You can't say stop by here and say not say hello, man. Caleb's one of our elite members. So we do great one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. We just got some spots open up for uh, next month because we're already starting. So we have 15 spots available. If you're interested in getting one-on-one -on -one coaching or group coaching, 
directly through us and help you hold you by the hand to teach you just like Caleb did, comment coaching below and we could get you um, uh, an interview form so we could really see what's going on and, and, you know, talk about the tuition, talk about our scholarship programs and things like that as well. So hope that could help you guys comment below um, coaching, C-O-A-C-H-I-N-G. All right. So let's see what we got. Caleb says, hello. All right, guys. Devin Nelson. Okay. Got you. Coaching. No problem. Where to next? Let's go to the next stop. CRF. CRF. If you are looking to get coaching, guys, make sure you fill out everything for us. We're trying to, we work off results, just like schools do things like this. We want to make sure we have a great, um, uh, great results for everybody. That's how we keep our reputation. So we're going to ask you some questions. Make sure, you know, we want to make sure that we get you the results so you could leave your job and do the things you want to do. So that's what we do there for. I like this one. So this is very similar to what's going on with uh, SPY, with the overall market. However, if you look over here, the 200-day average is all the way down here. It's a little naked right now. So it's, no, it's between no lines. But I like that it's hitting that line there. Um, I think this could be good. Personally, this is where you might want to break a rule or two. It, um, there is a risk. There is a risk with something like this. However, if you're, if you're seeing this line here and you feel like it's ready for a reversal, we could go this way. Here's the one thing. You know, it could go all the way up, especially, I think, with the reversal that's going to come very soon. Um, but Nia Trong, what's up? How are you? However, what happens is if it if it goes below this line, you want to have an exit strategy because then you're looking at possibly breaking this, breaking all the way down. So I would not take any risks if it goes past 12.7. I'd be out immediately. So just understand that when you're doing something like this. Vincent Karachi got, got us a stock here. Derek Stoll, what's up? Glenn Martin, how are you? All right, let's keep going. Uh, APA. APA, you hiding my water? Is that what you're doing over there? You want to? Heck yeah, I'm a, I like liquid. Anybody like? Oh, who gave us this one? I like what I'm seeing in this one. Um, okay, so APA, uh, you could see here, stock has has the A to B, B, C, B to C, C to D pattern overall, kind of going up. And right now we're seeing another downturn all the way to the 50 day moving average. And look what happens, like not anything else, it broke through all these lines. We got very strong volume, uh, looking like it's okay momentum. I don't see why this thing can not break 34, 35 this time, because again, anytime it does this, you could see it might even have a little bit of a turn down, but overall it's fine. That's why it's important you understand. When we tell you, hey, we like it, doesn't mean it's gonna do wonders right away. That's not what happens, it's not reality. A lot of times it does, sometimes it doesn't. So when we're seeing something like this happen here, and you could see the volume was pretty decent here, it gives us a sneak preview. Now, if you would have gotten in there, you probably would have lost a little bit or maybe made a little bit the next day, possibly took a little bit of a hit, but then guess what happens? It'll pop up, it's a sneak preview of what's going on. So you don't wanna buy short-term options. We're not doing a day trade where we're buying a few days. You wanna buy a month or two option so you're safe and you could have some time for it to do what you need it to do. Especially when a stock is holding these lines so good, you know, you, the risk to reward ratio is pretty good. So even if it goes down a little bit, you have time to make it happen. What's up, Jason Berry? Otherwise, time decay will eat your stocks alive. What's next? Uh, the UVXY. All right, so UVXY. Again, if you're interested in, in uh, if you want to go over any stocks, just comment the stock below that you're interested in us to go over. We don't have a lot of today, so you let me know. Um, so this one here, oof, a lot of volume I'm seeing. So this is the volatility. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a uh, oh, the VIX, the ultra, <laughs> the ultra VIX. The ultra uh, yeah. So this really showing us right now that like, basically the opposite of what the market is doing. Uh, so yeah, it works the same with technical analysis to answer Bob Benish's question. It's looking like it's coming down. So this could be a good one. And the volume is really strong. Usually means the, the volatility is going to go up, which this means this is probably might come down a little bit. So yeah, works the same way. And this could be something like if you want to do like a, a shorting or a put option, or maybe do like a, a bear call on the top, you could do that as well. Again, things that we teach you how to do the you know, different strategies in our coaching and some of our video uh, 
video sessions as well. So if you're interested, just comment coaching below and we can help you out. Even we have different programs now, different ones that are affordable. Um, that's going to help you out that we've seen, we're seeing some results. Amy Jender, oh, Gender Nye, Gender Nell, how are you? Jordan George Edinson, how are you, sir? Kenneth Kolarski, welcome, welcome. Hey, brother Frey, please. I think that's the stock, right? Okay, we put I it in. I think so. I wrote yeah. it just in case. Uh, maybe he's asking me to pray, but he messed, made us messed it up. All right, so let's get into this. What else we got in here? Uh, SJM. Oh, no, time on. CF, no. What? Which CF, one? CF, CF, CF. All right, C. Ooh, another one. So I'm liking this one. This, ooh, this is a good one, bro. Look at this beauty here. So you can see the stock coming right down, breaking all the averages. Very strong volume, Jesus. And then we're getting this nice little cross about to go down. Very, very mm -hmm. nice. Very, very nice. I like it. I think this is going to 75 minimum, possibly even breaking down. That's a lot of volume to yeah. look at. Again, you see the stock when it does these moves and it breaks through, they break through. When it does these moves, it breaks through and it breaks through. So again, when it does these moves, and it, it breaks, through, breaks yeah. through, it breaks through. Okay, so we just got to sometimes look at it and say, hey, <laughs> it just makes sense, especially when it's on good volume. So very, very nice call on this one. Very, I mean, this volume is insane. Last time we saw volume like this was over here. And it was one day. So you see, it was one day. And But here's the thing. This one doesn't count. And I'll tell you why. Because it came from a very yeah. long, uh, you know, tired move. This is coming off an average, man. This is yeah. a very nice one. Who gave us that one? Really appreciate it. Somebody just commented before. IBM, yes. we got you. Uh, no problem. Greg, what's up, man? How are you? I'm still celebrating your birthday, but Greg. I don't care. You and Felix, January 11th, all day. Zuleika Rosado. How are you? Jason Berry. Victor Lahachuk is in the building. Durant Carroll's in the building. Say hello, everybody. All right, cool, cool. So uh, we're hitting the 23-minute mark. That means, that means, guys, we're going to go for the record. We have a decent amount of people in here. We want to see how many hearts can we get, okay? Today, we want to break 300. If you're enjoying the show, we would love for you to click some hearts. It helps us out. It's free for you to do. And the fastest finger wins. So far, the last three winners were males for some reason. I don't know what is going on. They have the faster hands. This is the move we're trying to do on the hearts. And oh, Lori's doing pretty good today. What's up, Lori? Jeff Kenningston. So we're up to, oh, wow, you guys got up to 42 hearts already, man. Jesus, these guys are no joke. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right, there we go. Now we're getting some things going here. All right. All right, we're up. So, guys, we got a few more stocks I want to review with you. We got a few good profitable plays. We found CF already. We just need to get to 74 more hearts, and then we're going right back into the stocks here. 74 up, 62. 62 is the number now. All right, appreciate everybody's help here. Appreciate everybody's help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, we're up to like 30, but I don't want to waste your guys' time. I'm going to wait for you to hit that. And we are going back into our water first. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. All right. 24, 20, 17. Whoa, 11. Drop right to 11, 10, 9, 8, back to 12. No, I'm just kidding. Yep. All right. Two and one. Thank you, guys. If you want to keep hitting hearts, that's up to you. I appreciate anybody who does it. Thank you so much. But we are going back into this and we are going to make things happen. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate all that. Thank you, guys. So let's talk about a different stock here. We got one. It's called SJM. Oh, do I have a lot to say about SJM? Mm -hmm. What do I have to say? Uh, so this one here, it's an interesting one to look at because it, it kind of gives us an idea of where we are at. Very similar to what happened to SPY a few weeks ago. So this stock is holding this beautiful trend. Beautiful trend. It's been holding this trend. Thank you again for all the hearts. Uh, Jason Barry, Frey, I have it. Um, not after, we have IBM after this and then Frey right after that. I got you, Jason. I pinky swear. And you know, I'm very serious about my pinky swear. Except I broke this one. You see that, man? I messed it up one time. But no big, no broken pinkies promises. He's really all about that one right there. So yeah, this one here looks like it's coming down, but you got to be careful because my thought process is it's ready to go back up. Only thing we want to make sure, though, only thing we want to make sure, 
look at this. We're seeing too much of a downturn happening. So there is a chance that this could do what SPY did and drop here. So we want to make sure we get some sort of confirmation. So for example, when this thing comes down here, you can see this right there is a confirmation to me, a strong solid candle with some decent volume coming up. Okay, same thing, it comes down here. This is not a confirmation. These are just kind of small candles. This right here was a confirmation. So make sure we get a nice solid candle confirmation before getting anything into that. Otherwise you could get a really big hurt piece if it goes down to 135, you would not be happy. It's all about confirmation. Nobody can predict anything unless you're using logic. Lemoyne Henry, how are you? And Jason, after this, I think we have IBM, right? Mm -hmm. IBM, we got Frey. Ooh, IBM, huh? That's what everyone's asking me. So what do I think about it? Um, I think they had earnings. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Earnings were good, right? Because I think they merged with uh, Activision or they bought yeah. Activision. My, that was Microsoft. Microsoft, but, um, my bad. I apologize. Yeah, that, yeah, that was recent. Yeah, so um, I like it. To, to tell you right now, I like it. For the fact that it bounced off the 200-day moving average, 50-day uh, moving average, we just saw that with SPY. And that's why I think it's going to happen. But we got more importantly, we've got the A to B, B to C pattern. And here's the other thing I always look at when I could tell by my eye with my just eyes right now. But I'm going to show you here when the stock is uh, so stretchy. Look at this. And when you look at the Fibonacci, it oops. If you look at the Fibonacci, this gives us the retracement steps right here. You could see it came down all the way to 125. And now it's beginning to turn, which is huge for us. And it broke all the averages. I like it overall. Good volume, great momentum. I mean, when I see like, look, the volume is so strong. Two days in a row. Yes, I understand. We we might, you know, we had earnings, so there is a chance it could come down a little bit. But I don't think it's going to come down less than one thirty three. So you might lose a little money short term, but I think long term we're seeing some goodness happening. And I'm all about the goodness. If I, you know, personally, I like goodness. And we already saw kind of a bounce too. So when it came down here, you saw it had a bounce a little bit up and down right here. And right now it's beginning to shift that momentum to the upside. Love it, love it, love it. I think I'm very bullish on this one for the next few weeks. Where to next? Frey. Uh, we're going to skip Frey today, guys. Don't worry about Frey. Nobody wants to see it anyways. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jason's about to, no, bro. All right, Frey. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Jason, real quick. Because uh, you were really uh, big on this one. Is there, are you in a position? Do you have any specific questions about it before I go over it? Let me know because you seem very uh, adamant about it. I want to make sure I give you the right value for you. Uh, so, Noel, Noel, what's up, man? All right. So, let's look at this one. Yeah, Jason, uh, I see you la laughing. But let me know uh, what you want to, what you want to go over. Can we please talk about Tesla earnings is tomorrow? Yeah, we could go over that and talk about what I think about earnings in general. Um, so this one here, <clears throat> yeah, I'm just stalling a little bit. I wanted to see if Jason had any specific questions about it, but I don't see him typing. So let me go and look at it from just an overall view. Overall, I'm a little concerned about it when it comes to, so this is, uh, let me see. Okay, so decent stock here. It's in between the 200 day moving averages. So when I see this, it's kind of has, um, hmm. oh, do I think, do, I like the growth. I see it kind of has these points right here. So it has a chance to drop, but I, I like where it's headed to. Personally, I think it could do good, but it's been stuck in a channel. So when you're seeing this kind of went up, went down, had a consolidation, went back down. It's trying to kind of reverse now. And we're trying to see. So last time we seen this was around here at a big drop and it goes through these channels of consolidation until it goes up. So I think the chance to get in now um, could be a good, now you said they signed a deal that could have happened like, but, but you could see it's already kind of showing you that news. So if they already signed a deal, well, they just, you know, it already kind of happened. The news already reacted to it. If you feel bullish about it, like you could see there's good volume. I'm okay with it because I'm seeing some reversal happening already. Personally, if, if the company is going to turn around, we need to see it above 10 because the 200 day moving average is its normal average. So if I go back in time, you'll see the stock was around that area for the most part. So let me just go back a couple of years. Uh, let me go two years just to kind of get, make my point here. You could see here, you see what I said? You can see in the past, it kind of goes back to this 10-day moving average. So if it doesn't, and here's my concern, I'm going to pull up a weekly chart to make it clearer for you. 
because with this, things like this, you want to look at it a little bit further. If you make the wrong move now, we are looking at uh, at all the way over here to eight, possibly even seven ish right here. So it's not down to the downside. I would like to see this stock in a weekly get to yeah even ten because that breaks the fifty day moving average. Now what happens is this downturn turns into an upturn, and now we got this move happening again. You could see even here when it gets to 10 and it tests this 10, that's when things happen. That gives you perfect consolidate, uh, perfect confirmation. I would not invest in anything right now. I would wait till that 10 piece hits, put a notification. Once it breaks 10, I think it's in a healthy zone above 200 day moving average. And we're off to the races. Hope that helps Mr. Jason, uh, Jason Barry. Radu Danielle, what's up, man? Sam Artikov, how are you? Tambia the yacht, the yacht, the yacht, or the yacht. I don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, Philly, oh, Philly and Landa, Awulava, how are you? T.Y. Mark, Ty Mark, sorry. <clears throat> Noel, Noel, everybody, welcome. Join and thank me later. Ibrahim. What is that? What was he push? Oh, he got me with that. <laughs> All right, what's next? J and J. J and J. I think they had earnings today too. J and J probably did have earnings. Um, I'm liking this one. I think it was a, it was just a matter of time. I think earnings sometimes is an excuse for stock to start kind mm -hmm. of looking up. And when the stock just has you know these ups and downs, ups and downs, I do want to check out the Fibonacci and see where exactly we are. And see, are we in the right spots? Overall, this is kind of like the channel. Again, bouncing off the 61, breaking that spot. I like this one. I think this is a good one. We're seeing nice momentum. Uh, could be going down a little bit. I don't think much, but I think overall, this could be a good one. I like the spot of it. I wouldn't invest today just to see the reaction for tomorrow. So that's just on me. That's what I think. And I'm sticking to it. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Where to next? Uh, Neo. How's everybody feeling, man? Everybody doing good today? It's a disruptor forever battery, lithium. Yeah, that, that's a good company, Jason. And like I said, I just want my job is to give you accuracy uh, on exactly kind of when to go. Poke ho. Is that how you say poke ho? Poke -ho. Like, oh, okay. What's up, poke ho? Uh, we're we're going to check out Tesla in a few. Brian, you're welcome, man. I think you said it twice. Maybe you asked for two stocks. Feeling bullish, man. I love it. Dude, this is a good, guys, I'm telling you, right, if you're just joining, the market's about to turn. This is like the best moment. I want to make sure my goal with everybody is to make sure they get in at the right time. Stop letting victim, stop letting the news be the victim, okay? That's why I come up with these free webinars that if you haven't received yet, comment webinar below. We will send it to you. And if you're interested in getting coaching, so maybe you want to leave your job, you want to take some more vacations and you want to kick your boss to the curb, I will show you step-by-step -step how to do it um, through one-on-one -on -one coaching. The best way to do it, just comment coaching below. We'll give you a uh, little form to fill out. We'll interview you and see if this may be the opportunity for you. We have 50, I think it, I just got a notification. We just got two people. So 13 more spots available for February 1st. So let me know if you're interested. Other than that, other, after that, that, we're closing down. So we could give our people some attention, some elite members that we've had. All right, cool. And we've had hundreds of them. Where's the next? Uh, Neo. Neo. Neo's not looking too good right now, guys. I mean, it, it just fell off. Uh, I've talked about this before. I told you, I warned you guys. When I'm seeing it constantly bounce all these lines, I need to see it get back to around here, at least around 35. Mm -hmm. I wasn't touching it. And again, it's doing exactly what I said it was going to do from the last time we talked about it. It's just following its channel. And I don't think it's going to stop. It might have a little bit of a reversal, but the, the strong volume we're seeing here up to the bearish side, I would be so careful with stuff like that. Personally, I would not mess with it, but that's just me. What do I know here? Uh, Bill O'Donnell, man, how are you? Jason Barry, no problem. No problem, Jason. What's your next? Facebook. Facebook. All right. Book of Face is looking all right. So on this one here, looks like to me we have a, a pattern here. Um, I like Facebook overall. I've used it before. 
Um, I think everybody here at some point used Facebook, like right now, but uh, it's following this downward channel. Um, overall, I think um, I think it's I think it should turn around because every time it does, it, and they're big turnarounds too. You see, it drops down, up, drops down, up. So it's at this point right now, it drops down. I think this is a great opportunity, strong volume, man. I mean, it's stronger than it used to be with these turnarounds, except right here. Very, very nice. I think this could be a good turnaround. You know, usually I like to tr trade stocks here, but Facebook is a pretty big company. I would, sometimes you got to break certain rules based on the market. This is one of those times. I like this one. I would say, we, let's go for it. I like it a lot. I would say maybe get, see how it ends the day. But I don't think it's going to go much, much lower personally. But that's a risk you got to take, you know. But I, again, I go by volume. Volume is the key indicator, and it's looking pretty good to me. David Snops, what's up, man? How are you? Oh, okay, what's to where to next, guys? Tesla. Mm. If you're interested in Tesla, comment Tesla below. If you're interested in Tesla or buying a Tesla, they're pretty nice cars. All right. Anybody interested in Tesla? No? Okay, cool. All right. Thanks. No problem, Sam. Uh, Phantom crypto looking strong. I don't do a lot of crypto, guys. And I know Bitcoin was looking kind of oof. So here we got a situation here. So this this looks to me like we're hitting this spot right here. Right, Elliot? Yeah, fill that gap. Filling that gap up. Filling that gap up. Um, overall, I mean, I'm going to say, would you agree with me? here? I would like to see, I know they have earnings, man. I know you, you're talking about the earnings, but you got to be very careful, man. Cause uh, when mm. we see Tesla's earnings go back in time, they are unpredictable. Like I would say, yeah, this looks okay, but we've seen these things fall to like 650 to up. Yeah. It's just, I'm just going to be straight up with you guys. It's a gamble. I've never been lucky with um uh what do you call them earnings, earnings sorry uh yeah just i haven't been really lucky with them i'm sorry it just it's a 50 50 gamble you don't know what people are thinking it's just it's like playing a slot machine it's, you know you just don't know what's going to happen but they are programmed to only win sometimes mm -hmm. very very hard to say unless you're doing like a um like a, a straddle or something like that with the options but the reality is I would mess with it. Kind of looks bullish to me, but it's just it means nothing. I would say my I'm more, what I'm more interested in. What's going to happen if it goes above? So I want to see this get above 1100. Like if it's yeah. bullish one, then we're looking at something good. Or maybe the earnings are going to tank and we're going to get back to like around here. So then we could start playing. But my advice is. Be careful with the earnings. Yes, you might see it go up and you might be like, oh man, I, that's what I was thinking. Trust me, it's a 50-50 shoot a lot of times. You don't know. Even if they say they have the most amount of cars sold in this economy, right? we don't know. A lot of times even the good news lead to bad things in stocks. It's very, very manipulated. I would just be very, very careful with something like this. So personally, I'm out until the earnings and then we could look back and see what's going on. So wait till next, folks. PG. Parent Guardian. All right. So PG, Procter Gamble. Procter Gamble has been going through. Uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Uh, Procter Gamble's going through a little consolidation. Yeah, so it's been really kind of testing this area. <clears throat> now, what I like about it is it tested in what, one, two, three times. I think if it gets back again, we are seeing some serious, serious stuff. Uh, I'm just looking back in history here. You could see the stock when it hits these air areas of, of uh, resistance, when it breaks out, it could be a big thing here. So to me, this is really, really nice. I like this area. I wouldn't go to the downside, even if it does go. Uh, what I am looking for is I want to see it go to 166. With this type of volume, I think it could do it. And then we play that breakout because then we're starting to form that a to B, B to C, C to D pattern. Whoops, my errors are all messed up. So uh, 166 is where I'm looking for this to be for me to start investing in. Where to next? Uh, PBR. I think there's two of them, though. PBR? Okay. All right, PBR is looking good to me. So this is very similar to what we just talked about. It's a consolidation, but a smaller one. 
So you see the stock kind of had this up, down, and now it's breaking out. Um, I would say, I would say personally, I like it, but not too, too much. So I if you are going to get into it, watch it carefully because I like the volume. I like a lot of things, but because it's so stretched, I think it might have one or two good days, but then it's going to drop very similar to what happened here. You can see it went up. It had a few good days, but then it really tanked. So one to two days, if you could get a nice run, um, that's it. I would be very careful because this thing is going to tank at some point pretty quickly. Where to next? Uh, T. T, AT&T, man. I like the stock bit a lot, actually. I thought it was a good play, especially if you're playing on options. Um, I actually played it over here before. I, you know, there was a great opportunity. I saw it kind of pop up. Uh, now it's a little different. Now it's kind of hitting this area. I don't know right now because it's it went way above. Michael Wait, what White? What's up, brother? How are you? He just joined us on a. He's a new he's elite that. member. He's one of our new clients. Earnings coming up. Yep. Too. So, um, and if you want to join Michael to uh, show us what uh, to show you how we trade, give oh, you yeah. what we do, walk you hand by you know hold your hand through the whole thing comment coaching below and we'll get you everything you need to talk to you and interview you and see what your life is all about i will say this one here guys i would not invest not at all i liked it before this is way too stretched where it needs to be it's, go, it's playing with this 200 day moving average and more importantly look at that momentum shift if anything, I'm thinking this is going to go down, but I'm definitely not investing for it to go up anymore. I see the good candles. Don't fall in love with the candle. I will also kind of just to give him a little bit of more understanding here. I will look at a weekly chart for you guys to kind of see what we have going on. You could see here um, the stock has already kind of went up and now it's coming down below the 50 day moving average. That's kind of the key point there, and it's beginning to come down. Jonathan Smith, what's up, man? How are you? Michael, how are you feeling, man? We have earnings tomorrow morning, too. Yeah, oh, if they have earnings. Um, so I don't know if I should have saved you your breath with that Yeah, one. <laughs> um, I'm looking at just all the other ones, like the uh, Verizon, T-Mobile, yeah. just kind of see what's going on. I just wouldn't mess with the wireless company. They haven't been doing too well. You know, since I left the company, you know. <laughs> no, they, they haven't been doing too well recently. The Q's, Q, yeah. Q, 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 yeah. the big tech stuff. Um, yeah, so this thing's just been tanking, man. Um, obviously, you know, I like these things because they don't go down forever. Now, this is another good example. It looks terrible, right? It looks absolutely horrific. But when we look at a weekly chart and we go back to, let's just say, three years, Okay, just to have an idea, <laughs> it doesn't look good. <laughs> so it doesn't look good. Right now, I would not touch this thing at all, at all, because it's in a very dangerous territory. It's not looking like it's coming up. Yeah, we have an okay candle, but it's below the 50-day moving average. If this thing decides to just uh, go ahead and tank, who knows? We could see 240. Obviously, I don't think mm -hmm. it's going to happen. That's extreme. But it's not in a good territory. It needs to be above the 50 moving average to keep that health going. If it gets above it and we'll see the same type of volume we're seeing, you know, and this is just not a situation you want to be in right now. Get it to 360, get it to 365. Then I think we could see something good happening. All right, guys, how are we feeling, man? Looking good, looking good. All right. Um, I just got to take a quick drink and I want, I just want to see if you're enjoying the show, you know, no charge for the show, but we do expect you to show us some love with some hearts. If you enjoy, can I just see some hearts? All we expect is just a few hearts, just like I just clicked here because it gives me an idea how we doing and things like that. All right. We got a few people here, a couple people. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Lori, as always. Thank you, Lori. Thank you. Uh, a few people. It's hard for me to see all everybody's names. I apologize. I recognize icons. But yeah, we got a decent amount here coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me take a quick water here. Quick water. Quick water. All right. Thank you, David. I appreciate that, man. All right. We got a V. Is that a V for Vlad? Like you love it? Or is it like the stock? <laughs> like Visa? Where's the next? <laughs> thank you, guys. I appreciate that. UPST. UPS. Ooh, I like the UPS stuff. <laughs> uh, wait, 
UPS, no, he was saying he's upset. Upset. Maybe he's upset yeah, at something. Yeah. yeah, so this one is very similar to Neo. I'm not a fan of it. Like, there's a couple things that are showing here. However, like, you know, it's you're seeing, like, the – in. Uh, thanks, Jamal. I appreciate that, man. Uh, so, yeah, look at Bob Bennett, another elite member. I think Jamal's an elite member, too. Jordan Thompson, how are you? So, yeah, this is beginning to go up, but that's a lagging indicator. So, to me, I mean, I see some good stuff happening here. But the big thing I don't like here is this the fact that it's below every single moving day average. You see a cross in the long-term averages. Just not a good situation for the stock. I would not mess with it. I don't care if we can make a few dollars here and there. It's just too uh, inconsistent. If you want to play short-term, maybe you could play short-term to like the 110, and that's fine. That you could do because what you're doing is you're swing trading. Now, if you haven't, I actually teach you how to use that strategy in my webinar. I show you the six simple steps where you could take this stock right here and make money on it every single week. So if you're interested, just comment webinar below. We'll give it to you for free, no problem. Uh, just comment webinar and so, and one of my team members or me, I will text you the link so you could start doing it. Hey, if it's free, it's for me. And we got a few people who already have it here. So we're good with that. Where's the next? Uh, WSM. WSM. WSM's looking all right. So see, this That's stock true. right here is very similar to what we just saw, but it's making a move. This could be a big one, guys. Who gave us WSM? Whoever did, thank you. They came far way out. Hold on. A little William Sonomo action. So this one here is breaking through this trend, broke through the two short-term averages. I don't like that it's not above these, but I would say I, I feel pretty good about it, man. I feel pretty good that it continues going with that strong volume, with this amount of momentum. Everything's beginning to shift. Love it. I think this could go all the way up to 170-ish and then might do a little bit of retracement before it continues. But definitely, I think this could be a big money maker yeah. here. But make sure you put in uh, a decent enough uh, scenario, a decent enough uh, time for an option if you're doing options. And if you don't know how to do options, definitely recommend a uh, comment webinar below so we can help you out with that. All right, cool. Where to next? I didn't make that up. I saw that here, but I can't no, find no where it Where's is. next? Uh, BAC. Uh, BAC by Baba Nish. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. So what a very important on this one. I like the fact that this hit already um, the 200 day moving day average and it bounced exactly what we expected it to do. Uh, once it got past the slide, it continued going down. Now it's beginning to turn. What are my concern here is, is uh, seeing this line here and you're seeing it kind of coming up. And now a lot of times you might see this start coming back down. So it's very important we see it break through the line. If, if that was me, especially the way financial has been doing, I'd like to see it go above right here to 48, and then we, we got something going. Until then, I think it could get stuck too many areas in this spot, and you can see when it does it in here, it's unpredictable. You'll just you could you'll have some headaches. So definitely don't recommend it. Uh, Sid Aurora, what's up, man? Spot. Like Spotify? Mm -hmm. So we got Spotify, Shopify, all of the fights. What's the next? <laughs> uh, v. V for Visa. Looks like it kind of tanked. It's looking like it's coming to making a comeback. Same thing on this one, guys. So I just I just don't feel right about investing in a stock, especially if you look at the downtrend of this stock. It's been a, below its 200-day moving average for a while. So you got to be careful with things like this. I want to see a reversal. I want to see you get back to at least 217. But for, for me to trade safely, I like what it was doing here until it fell off. Again, um, that's just the market overall. If the market starts reversing, you could take, uh, again, certain rules don't apply because of what the reversal is going to do. We're going to see some sick moves. You might take a chance on it, but just be very careful. Uh, you know, If anything, it could go down to 190, but I'm going to say... Right now, it's undecisive for me. I'd like to see it at 217. So it could make it, but again, you could see sometimes it does it, and then it just tanks. And that's where I see this, because it's way below its moving day averages. So definitely make it try a lot of risk on something like this. But I do use Visa and MasterCard, so what's next? Shop. Shop. Shop's looking like it's looking like the same thing I said last week, I believe. We were asking. It's showing us a little promise long-term, but nothing good. I'm seeing some momentum kind of shifting. I like the volume that it's it's creating. 
So again, could be a good move because it's naked. It's a little tough. Uh, too many things are showing me to the downside. It, uh, I'm not convinced. Uh, just seeing over here, like last time we had a lot of volume here. You could see uh, this was the bear side. So there is a lot of volume. So I'm going to say, if anything, maybe we've got a one or two good days, but then get out of it right away. 1050 would be my number uh, to hit. I think we could get to there for sure. And then I would definitely just get out of it. I would not think it's going to go back up unless it breaks some things. So I like the volume. So I'm going to say yes on this one, but very short term. Alexander Williams joined us, joined mm -hmm. us. All right. Spot. What is it? Spot. All right. Spot. Let's try something different. If you're liking the show, all right, if you if, if you find any value, we're going to try something that, can I, I, can you just type in the word value below? And uh, Elliot's going to do a count because if, if we get a decent amount of values, we're going to do something a little bit more valuable next time. But we got to see how many people actually like it. So if you could comment value below, give us a good understanding. Where's the next spot? We're at the spot. Spot, same thing, man. It seems like there's a lot of uh, uh, reversal happening over here. See, Jason Berry got value. John got value. Sid got value. Uh, I thought Lori would be the first one. Thank you guys. Appreciate it, Vlad. No problem. That we'll consider that value. Right, Count that right, as value. Right. Uh, don't, don't be stingy. I know how you get out of it. All right. Uh, yeah, so this one's way below its averages, man. I just don't like it. I feel like it could go up a little bit, but th th there's too much risk here. It's too stretched from the bottom. Um, if anything, it could go up a little bit because of the. Uh, it does have some good volume today and yesterday and the day before. If it if it gets a quick hit, great, but just be very careful. Okay, so look, we got Jamal, Dino, Alex, Chris. Thank you, Jason. Appreciate it, David. Jason twice, Brian, Bob. Really appreciate it, guys. Greg, okay, I was waiting for Greg, man. You know, I thought once it's past January 11th, he's like, nope, I'm done. Sorry, potty break value. Okay, no, hey, we got a potty value. That's good. I like that. <laughs> Where to next? Uh, when do you guys, uh, when? When okay, when I'll tell you when this could be a really good one, guys. I like this one. Um, I would like it a little bit more if it gets to wreck a little bit over here, but I think this is beginning to form that A to B, B to C, C to D pattern. Oh man, it's a tough one because you can see it's kind of going up there, but the other ones are over here. So because of the market conditions, I'm gonna say I like it. I'd like to see it like around. Just pass these lines, man. And if it does, then we could start looking at maybe getting to that 23, 24 mark. If it gets to 24, we're in really good shape. But I, I, I could see this actually going above it. Just wait for it to get past the red line. You know, so we could see something like this, like a nice candle like that with an okay volume. The volume's good. It's just the other stuff that I'm not seeing. So right now, I would put on a list, wait till this starts kind of coming together. I think the sneak peek's looking good. Definitely a watch list for me. What's the next? All right, guys. Uh, looks like we ran out of stocks. Or anybody else have any other stocks? We've got a lot of value here. Appreciate it. Yasen, Yasenov. What's up, brother? How are you? Does anybody have any other stocks? Again, thank you, Jason, Chris, Dino, Jamal, David, Brian, Bob. Anybody who commented value means a lot to us. We'll give you a few thumbs up on that one. Um, anybody else? Okay, cool. Guys, if you, again, if you like what you're seeing and you, you feel like, hey, this is something that you could do and you're looking for some mentorship or, or maybe we could just help you get you on your way to somewhere else, that's not a problem. We have different things. We have a membership. We have videos. We have coaching. Just comment coaching below and we could, we could set up a call with you and kind of see what the deal is. I missed the APA stock prediction. Uh, that was the one I liked, I think, right? Yeah, I think you said you would revisit that one. Yeah, APA was pretty good, man. That was a really nice one. I really like it. I think this is a good one to go for. It's one of my favorite ones that I've seen today. So, But yeah, guys, seriously, if you're interested, please comment co uh, coaching below. We'd love to talk to you. If you uh, Anybody who got us the webinar link will get that as well. Before we go, we'll just go look, look at the SPY. And you could see, guys, SPY's already kind of turning around, looking pretty good to us. We needed to break that 200. If it breaks that 200, man, we're looking at some big things. I will tell you, one thing you want to do is join us on uh, 
Thursday. Thursday is going to be pretty big. Jason Barry, I got you with the coaching. Uh, AZN's looking pretty good, man. I like that one. I like this one right here, but we want to see go past above 59-ish to see a reversal. Uh, Mike Harper, what's up, man? Uh, NVIDIA, NVDA, NVDA. Um, I like that it's bouncing 200-day moving average. We're just looking for it to kind of start coming to the upside. I wanted to get some confirmation here, but this could be good. Make sure you get some strong confirmation before we do anything like that. Otherwise, it could do one of these moves. It could go below it, and we could have a problem. Anyways, guys, listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Seriously, thank you so much to everybody who's supporting us. I hope you enjoy the show. We really try to get it for you. We'll call soon, interested in coaching. Uh, I need to clear schedule first. Yeah, not a problem, uh, David. Um, guys, please, please, please um, join us Thursday. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't ever tell you to join the next week. It's up to you, whatever. If you're allergic to good plays and money, don't join. If you like money and you, this is, these opportunities don't come often. And if you go back to my lives, you could see I say it certain times of the month. They're very rare. This one is really rare. But these are the life-changing opportunities. Most millionaires are made in these horrific markets because most people are afraid to do it. With what we have, the power of social media, this is where we want to get everybody to be educated. Stop watching the news. Stop being scared. This is the time we want to focus and say, let's make this happen. So if you're interested you know, to do it on your own, do it on your own. I, I try to give you as much information here. If you need more help, you need more coaching, Common coaching. If you need a webinar to show you some of my skills that I do, some of the simple steps, comment webinar. That's free totally. So whatever you need, we just want to make this a turnaround year for everybody. Okay. Enough is enough. It's time to get people out of their jobs. Let them live life. Let them control their income. And that's, we're not going to stop until every single person in this group, at least, is doing it. We are over, we're over 12,000 strong. And we're not going to stop growing, man. So again, I appreciate all of you from whoever been here since we were 300 members. To anybody who's just joining, I really appreciate every single one of you. We're going to send all you guys webinars and, and uh, hope you enjoy. Other than that, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I hope to see you Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern. Adios.